all shit. Musa back on bullshit, and I'm fully voted. You already know this, little. Everybody get voted. Can't stop, won't stop. What the fuck is you smoking? Fuck is you smoking? Told them all we was coming, and they thought we was joking. They thought it was a joke. We back, baby. We don't never slack, never like boy. We focus. Man, what's good for Army? It's your boy, El Musa, baby. Recognize I'm back. And right now, you are looking at the global cryptocurrency charts for the total cryptocurrency market cap. But before we begin, y'all already know what time it is, man. Y'all know the tradition around here. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and tell the world about your boy, baby. I mean, damn. That nigga done came up with a internet radio station, a motherfucking... Freak Nick, and me, my cousin, and my daddy, we just got jacked just a minute ago by Santa Claus. I'm just saying, man. Let's get it popping, y'all. Y'all know exactly what time it is. All right, guys, taking a look at the global cryptocurrency charts on the total cryptocurrency market cap, baby. We are seeing right here seven days ago, we were sitting at 1.1. And where are we at right now, guys? At the time of this recording, we are sitting at 1.1 as well. And that's $1.1 trillion in the total cryptocurrency market cap. So what's going on right now, guys? There's a couple of things that's going on with crypto that I find absolutely freaking phenomenally voted and that is the global press is starting to get in on the buzz and this craze going on with etfs now ever since blackrock went on ahead and did his thing man everybody and they mama is looking on jumping on board in this wave of etfs that are being filed guys so in my opinion what this says is it is absolutely freaking bullish baby because when you look at at our monthly guys we are still hanging in there guys we are still hanging in an area of support guys so i feel with this news as a catalyst with the heat wave that's going on in texas which by the way is crazy man salute to the people out in texas man i don't know how y'all do it baby but damn hold your head but because of the heat waves obviously the people that are mining bitcoin their energy prices are going sky high which in turn can have an effect on what's going on with bitcoin's prices because of that bitcoin's prices could go high as well time will tell guys what's going on but we are in a very very interesting bullish scenario what's going on in the overall cryptocurrency market cap all right, when we take a look at the top 10 in the crypto market, it's reflecting the same sentiment, baby. We got Bitcoin sitting at $30,000 down 2.28% over the past seven days. And I'm telling you, with all that's going on with Bitcoin concerning these ETFs and perhaps these mining fees because of the heat wave that's going on, who knows what could spark the catalyst that sets off the alluded to super cycle that everybody is waiting for. Now, the number two spot is held by Ethereum, as you can see, touching and teasing at $2,000 mark up almost a half a percent over the past seven days. Ethereum is gonna do great things this summer as well. So if you're invested, rest assured you're in a good, good, good asset. BNB is sitting at the number four spot at $240, guys. Now, it is down 2.4% over the past seven days, but I want you to understand something with BNB. Everybody knows, it's no secret, guys. Everybody freaking knows that BNB goes crazy during the meme coin season. Now, I called last year for BNB to go on the next bull cycle to go up to $1,000. And I'm about ready to up the ante from $1,500 to $2,000 because El Musa is fucking bullish on BNB. I'm telling you, that's where my main vote bag sits as well. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, y'all, with some of the stuff that BNB has to yet unveil, it is going to melt faces as well as some of our favorite cryptos like Vote Inu. Now, Coming in at the number six spot, guys, we have XRP sitting at 47 cents, down 5.5% over the past seven days. We have Cardano sitting at 28 cents, guys, down 5.3% as well over the past seven days. We have Dogecoin as well sitting at, damn. Musa can't see. We have Dogecoin sitting at six cents at the number eight spot, down 5.2% over the past seven days. And at the number nine spot, we have Litecoin sitting at $108 at the time of this recording, up 16.3% over the past seven days. And then also Solana has set the number 10 spot and Solana has the number 10 spot sitting at 1934, up 12% over the past seven days as well. Now, let's take a look at what's going on with my favorite token, Vote Inu, baby. 
Yo, taking a look at vote on the B and B side, cause you know your boy Musa in the hood like. We both don't know what the Mo fuck is up with us. I ain't even gonna lie to you. So, vote Inu on the BNB side, y'all. Look, I know some of you guys might be sitting here going crazy. You might not be able to stomach the situation. You might be wigging out, whatever the case may be. But look, man, the reality is absolutely this, guys. Vote Inu has seen things like this time and time before since the beginning. I've been hanging around since December, guys, of 2021. And I'm telling you, man, I've seen it all. I've sat here and watched it all. I'm still accumulating to this very fucking day. In fact, these these prices, guys, are so f lucrative, man, that you can easily quadruple your f position. So why not get into it? Why not get to the bag, man? You already know where this token is going. You mean to tell me one scare you away from your bag on the BNB side? Keep the change, you filthy animal. Look, man, the reality is this. There are so many mechanics that are coming to play in this upcoming bull cycle that we have yet to even experience. We don't know how Volti Eco is going to impact the charts. We don't know how um, uh, VDSC is going to impact the charts. We do not know how Volti Change is going to impact the charts. But what we do know is that Volt Inu is a hyper deflationary token. And your boy Musa stand firm on saying that nobody, and I mean nobody, knows the implications of hyper deflationary until we see that shit in action and with the way things are set up structurally around this entire ecosystem i'm telling you guys be prepared for impact y'all can't test us go hard hell no we go extra supercharging this bitch like tessa talk for get folded like wrestlers math lessons for toast you give lectures i don't play about me that you can get the stretcher cut from a different cloth you can see the texture oh i'm here too we apply pressure